So, Victor, what have you been up to? Uh, that's the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, and I guess I read too much Jules Verne as a young boy. And so, for the last four years, I've led a team to design and build what is now the most advanced and deepest diving submersible on the planet. And I have the ability to personally pilot it too. So this was us in December of last year, for the first time, the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. And nobody's seen that before, right? That's just you. No. Wow. Well, now everybody else. Who does that?、Uh, like. Well, I think、uh, everyone has、uh, seen all the developments in the last, you know, 10, 15 years. You have a bunch of people that have the means to explore outer space, like SpaceX or Blue Origin,、uh, those guys. And we're going the other direction. So it's a wonderful era of private individuals spending their resources to develop technologies that can take us to places that have never been explored before. And the oceans of the world, as it's almost a cliche to say, it's 70 percent of our entire planet, and of that, 95 percent is unexplored. So what we're trying to do with our expedition is to build and prove out a submersible that can go to any point on the bottom of the planet to explore the 60 percent of this planet that is still unexplored. You need a pretty cool tool to do that, right? Right. Now、uh, the tool is the、uh, the submarine, the limiting factor. It's a state-of-the-art vessel supported by the support ship, the pressure drop. It has a two-person titanium sphere, 90 millimeters thick, that keeps it at one atmosphere, and it has the ability to dive repeatedly down to the very deepest point of the ocean, the、so、Challenger、like、Deep. The SpaceX of、uh, yeah. ocean exploration. Yeah, it's kind of the SpaceX of ocean exploration, but I I pilot my own vehicles. Are you going to take Elon or?、Uh... Yeah, I could take someone down there. So,、uh, Elon, if you're listening,、uh, I'll give you a ride in mine if you give me a ride in yours. <laughs> <laughs> so,、uh, tell us what it's like down there. I mean, we're talking about like a place where the pressure is so intense that it's like putting an Eiffel Tower on your toe.、Uh, it's more than that. It's about you know, 16,000 psi. So the issue is that we have、uh, this titanium sphere that allows us to go down to these extreme depths. And come up repeatedly.、Uh, that's never been done before. The Challenger Deep has been dived twice: once in 1960 and once in 2012 by James Cameron. And、uh, they went down and they came back up. And those were experimental craft. This is the first commercially certified submersible that can go up and down thousands of times with two people, including a scientist. And we're very proud that we just took down the deepest diving British citizen in history just three weeks ago, Dr. Alan Jamieson of Newcastle University, who was down with us on the、uh, Java Trench. So. Not too much kind of freaks you out, is what I'm guessing.、Uh, well, it's、uh, it's a lot different to go diving. You, if you're claustrophobic, you do not want to be in the submarine.、Uh, we go down quite a distance, and the missions typically last eight to nine hours in a confined space. So it's very different than the career I had previous to this, which was mountain climbing, where you're in large open spaces, the wind is whipping, it's very very cold. This is the opposite. It's much more technical. It's much more about precision and using the instruments and troubleshooting anything that can go wrong. But actually, if something really goes wrong in the submersible, you're not going to know it. <laughs> so you're afraid of leaks, is what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, leaks are not good. But if it's a leak that's happening, well, at least it's not that bad. Because if it was really bad, you wouldn't know it again. But、um, <laughs> uh, you know, fire in the capsule that wouldn't be good either. But no, it's actually a very, very safe、uh, submersible. I like to say I don't trust a lot of things in life, but I do trust titanium. I trust math, and I trust finite element analysis. Which is how you figure out whether or not things like this can survive these extraordinary pressures and conditions. And that sphere is so perfectly machined, right? Like right. this is a truly unique craft.、Right. That was the real trick: is actually building a titanium sphere that was accurate to within 0.1 percent of machining. And titanium is a hard metal to work, and a lot of people haven't been able to figure it out. But we were very fortunate. I've been working with an extraordinary team that was able to make an almost perfect sphere. Which, when you're subjecting something to pressure, that's the strongest geometry you can possibly have. So when I'm actually in the submersible and that hatch closes, I actually feel very confident that I'm going to go down and come back up. And that's the thing you double check, right? That the hatch is closed. Yeah, there are only two rules in diving a submarine. Number one is close the hatch securely. Number two is go back to rule number one. <laughs> All right. So Atlantic Ocean, check. Southern Ocean, check. Yeah, no one has ever dived the Southern Ocean before. I know why. It's really, really hostile. The weather is awful. The word collision kind of comes to mind,、um, but we did that one. Yes, glad and, that's over. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's like you're racing through it. And now、uh, the Indian Ocean, as、uh, as Kelly mentioned. Yeah, that was three weeks ago. We were fortunate enough to, for the first time, actually solve the mystery. If someone had asked you three weeks ago what was the what is the deepest point in the Indian Ocean, no one really knew. 
There are two candidates: one off of Western Australia and one in the Java Trench. We have this wonderful ship with a brilliant sonar. We mapped both of them. We sent landers down to the bottom and actually verified it's actually in the center portion of the Java Trench, which is where no one thought it was. In fact, every time we've completed one of our major dives, we have to run off to Wikipedia and change it because it's completely wrong. <laughs> uh, so it probably takes longer to get down there than. The time you're able to spend down there? No, we actually spend、uh, actually quite a bit of time.、Uh, I have four days of oxygen supply in the、uh, vessel. If I'm down there for four days, something's gone so wrong, I'm probably not going to use it. But、uh, it's about three hours down to the deepest part of the ocean, and then we can spend usually three or four hours, and then another three hours up. So you, you don't want to really stay in there for more than ten or eleven hours. It can get a little tight. All right. So the bottom of the Indian Ocean, and so this is something that. No one besides you has ever seen yeah, before. Yeah, this, this, this is actually imagery from one of our robotic landers. On the bottom right, you can actually see a robust ass fish. That's what it's actually called. <laughs> But you can see from the left a creature that's never been seen before. It's actually a bottom-dwelling jellyfish called a soft ascidian, and no, none of them have ever looked like this before. And actually, has a small child on the bottom of its stalk, and it just drifted across. Beautifully. So every single dive we have gone on, even though we're only down there for a couple of hours, we have found three or four new species because these are places that have been isolated for billions of years, and no human being has ever been down there to film them or take samples. And so this is extraordinary for us. So what we are hoping, the main objective of our mission, is to build this tool. This tool is a door. Because with this tool, we'll be able to make more of them potentially, and take scientists down to do thousands of dives, to open that door to exploration and find things that we had no idea even existed. And so, more people have been to space than the bottom of the ocean. You're one of three. You're going to up that number. You're going <laughs> to give it away. Yeah, three people have dived to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean,、uh, the USS Trieste in 1960 with two individuals. James Cameron in 2012 with his deep sea Challenger. Thank you, Jim. Great sub. And this is the third generation technology. We're not only going to try and go down, actually, in two weeks, but we're going to try and do it multiple times, which has never been done before. If we can do that, we will improve the technology, and that door will not just go open; it'll stay open. Fantastic. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs>